Okay, boys and girls, so today we are going to be working on addition to 100 with tens. And it says, I can add up to 100 with tens. Let's look at this first problem, 46 plus 18. Now, we're going to solve this problem by lining up the numbers. So I have the number 46, a 4 in the tens place, and a 6 in the ones place, and the number 18. Now that number 18 needs to go directly under the 46. That means since the 8 is in the ones place, it needs to be underneath the 6. That is also in the ones place. The 1 needs to be in the tens place, underneath the 4. Okay, let's start by adding 6 plus 8. Now since 8 is the bigger number, we are going to count on from 8 6 times. Ready? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we put a 4 down here in the 1's place and we carry the 1. Now we need to add 4 plus 1 plus 1, which is the same thing as doing 40 plus 10 plus 10. Ready? Count on from 4 with me since 4 is the biggest number. 4, 5, 6. So the answer to 46 plus 18 is 64. Now let's look over here. It says, which addition problems are being shown? Well, let's look at the fingers. There's one finger up here, so 1 plus 1 equals 2. And down here we have 10 plus 10 equals 20. Then it says, which addition problems are the students in the front of the class showing? So we see 50 plus 30. So we are going to count off from 50 30 times, and we can do that by tens, counting by three 10 times, okay? 50, 60, 70, 80. So we know that 50 plus 30 equals 80. So it says it is important to be able to add to 100 so you know the total quantity you have together. That means the total amount. A quantity is an amount that you have. And one reason why it's so important to be able to count and add numbers together is so that you can count money. So let's look at money here. These are $10 bills right here and right here. And then we have some $1 bills down here. So what we can do is count by tens and then add the ones at the end. So we have 10, 20, 30 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3. So we have 30 plus 43. So let's count these together, okay? We'll start with the tens. We'll count all the tens, then we will add the ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. So I know that 30 and 43 together make 73. And I can check my answer. And guys, I'm going to put the bigger number on top. When you add numbers together, it doesn't matter if you put the bigger number on top or the bottom. But I think it's a good idea to make the big number on top. Because when you start subtracting numbers, the bigger number always has to be on top. So that it'll get you in that habit. Let's look at the ones place first. Remember, we always start at the ones place and move towards the left when we're adding. 3 plus 0 equals 3. And 4 plus 3 equals 7. So now we know that our answer is correct. And you can also check your answer by... We know that um, 73 is the answer. So if I took 73 and I minus 30, and you can either minus 30 or 43, we'll go with 30. Okay, so 3 minus 0 equals 3. 7 minus 3 equals 4. And see, I got this number right here, which means my answer is correct. Okay, so it says tens are 
groups of 10 and always have a zero in the ones place. This is the ones place right here where I'm underlining the zero. Okay, so when you're counting by tens, there's always a zero in the ones place. The number in the tens place is what changes. So let's count by tens to 90. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, guys, so it says adding by counting on. So counting on is a strategy that you can use when you're adding numbers. So it says count how many you already have. This is the first add-in of your addition problem. Remember, the two numbers that you are adding together are called the add-ins. So our first add-in is this number 60, okay? And we counted there are 60 blocks right here. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we know our first add-in is 60. And then it says count how many more are added. So we have 10, 20. So 20 is the second add-in we have. These are the two add-ins. Then we count them together. So we can count on from 60. Go ahead and do that with me. 60, 70, 80. So the sum is 80. Remember, the sum is the answer to the addition problem. And our addition number sentence would be 60 plus 20 equals 80. So now it says first count how many you already have, then count on with the objects being added. What's the total? If you notice in the picture here, these are tens frames, and tens frames are each worth 10. So we have 10 plus 10, 20, 30. Okay, so 10 plus 30 equals, count on from 10 with me, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. So your answer should be 40. And then this is just like what we went over a few minutes ago. It says count how many you already have in order to find the first add in. We have 60 here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 is the first add in. And then we have one, two, three, four blocks here. So four is the second add in. So 60 plus four equals 64, which is the sum. So the addition um, problem here is 60 plus 4 equals 64. Now it says first count how many you already have. Then count on with the objects being added. What is the total? Once again, this is the tens frame. Tens frame are worth 10 each. So let's count my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60. So we have 60 as the first add in, and then we have 5, 6, 7 as our second add in. Look at the ones place here in the 60. It's a zero. So we know if we put 7 plus zero, it's going to be 7. So 60 plus 7 equals 67. Okay, so. The first add-in is how many we have total. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 is the first add-in. And then we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 is the second add-in. The sum is 84 because we can count on from 60. 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So our addition number sentence would be 60 plus 24 equals 84. Okay, so it says first count how many you already have, and that's going to give us the add in. So count with me. We're counting by tens because this is a tens frame 10, 20, 30. 40. All right, so we have 40 as our first add-in. 40 plus 
10, 11, 12. All right, so let's count the tens first. Ready? 40, 50, 51, 52. So 40 plus 12 equals 52. Now this is going to get a little bit harder. So we're looking at American flags right now. And we need to find our add-in for right here, our first add-in, then our second add-in so we can get the answer. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 flags per group. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So our first add-in is 40. And then we have 10, 20 as our second add-in. Let's count on from 40. Ready? 40, 50, 60. So the answer should be 60. Okay, let's do the next one. We're counting money this time. Let's count by tens first. We're going to find the add-in, the first add-in, then we'll find the second add-in. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the first add-in is 50. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 50 plus 4 equals 54. And let's do this last problem. Once again, we have a group of 10 right here. Each box has 10 pencils. So let's find the first add-in. 10, 20, 30. So we're going to have 30 plus 10, 21. So 30 plus 21. Let's count on from 30. Ready? Okay, 30, 40, 50, 51. So the answer is 51. Okay, so another way besides counting on that we can use for addition is by using a number line. Okay, so this is just a zoomed in number line here. And it says, I count 20 more on the number line. And we make little rainbows that go to the next number, like this. Okay? So we have 40 plus 20. So look here, 40. And then here is 10 plus 10. So 50, 60. So 40 plus 20 equals 60. 60 would be the sum. And it says, I first count 10 more, that is 50. Then I count 10 more. My total is 60. Or you can count 20 more in your head. Okay, so if we have 5 plus 40, look here, we're going to make our little rainbows again. 10, 20, 30, 40. It'll take us to 45. So 5 plus 40 gives us the sum of 45. Okay, so it says 5 plus 40. I swap add-ins, then turn it to 40 plus 5. That's another way you can do this, um, and then just make your number line count by fives. Or you can add 40 plus 5 in your head. It'll still give you 45. And then it says, I jump 10 to get to 50. Then I jump 5 more to get 55. So this is if you are adding 15. So we have 40 plus 15. You can do add 10 to get to 50 like it said, and then add 5 more. Or you could do 40, 45, 50, 55, which means you're adding 5 three times. I first add 10 more, 
that is 50. Then I add 5 more, and my total is 55. And if you can, you can also add it in your head. So now let's try 40 plus 30. We'll get all these problems out. So we're going to make a number line. Okay, so here's 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. Sixty, seventy. So forty plus thirty equals seventy. And then we have five plus fifty. I'm going to make my number line start with fifty and go from um, count from fives from there. Okay, so 50 plus 5 is 55. And then this one's a little bit tricky. 17 plus 80. So what I'm going to do, making my number line, I'm starting with the bigger number. 80. I need to add 10 more. 80 plus 10 is 90. 90 plus 5, 95, and then add two more, which is going to give me 97. So 17 plus 80 equals 97. Okay, so let's look at word problems now. So remember when you are solving a word problem, you want to underline the things that are important and circle the question. Let's read the problem first before we start to look at the questions. So it says the teacher has already handed out 50 stickers this month. That is important because it's telling us how many stickers. So we need to underline it. Okay. They hand out 10 stickers today. That is also important. Now let's look at the question. How many stickers were given in total? So if it's wanting to know how many stickers were given in total, it's asking how many were given out all together. And whenever we're figuring out how many all together, that means that we're adding. So this is an addition problem says, which numbers do you need for the math problem? Well, the things that we underline, it says the teacher already handed out 50 stickers, and then they handed out 10 stickers today. So we need the 50 and the 10. So our math problem, we're going to be adding, they want to know how many stickers were given in total. So how many stickers in all? So we are going to do 50 stickers plus 10 stickers. And to do that, 50 plus 10, we're counting on from 50 10 times, ready? 50, we're counting by tens. 50, 60. So the answer should be 60. So the addition problem, the addition number sentence would be 50 plus 10 equals 60. The sum is 60. They gave out 60 stickers. Let's look at this problem. At the petting zoo, seven baby chicks were born. That is important, so we are going to underline it. The second petting zoo had 30 baby chicks born. That is also important, so we need to underline it. How many baby chicks were born? So when it's asking how many were born, it's asking us how many were born all together. So that means that this problem is going to be an addition problem. Okay, so how many were born all together is going to be the total amount. So it says, which numbers do you need for this math problem? 
Well, it says that at the first petting zoo, there were seven born. And the second petting zoo had 30 born. So we need the numbers 7 and 30. So 7 and 30 will be the numbers that we add together. So our math problem is going to be 7 plus 30. And then to solve that, we are going to count 1 from 30. So 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So our addition number sentence will be 7 plus 30 equals 37. Let's look at this problem. The farmer has 40 cows in the field. That is important, so we underline it. There are still 12 cows in their stalls. That's also important, so we underline it. Here's the question. How many cows does the farmer have? We're going to circle the question. They're wanting to know the total amount of cows that this farmer has. So this will be an addition problem. And then we need to look, what numbers do you need for this math problem? Well, he had 40 cows in the field and 12 in their stalls. So we need 40 and 12. Since we're adding these numbers together, our problem is going to be 40 plus 12. And for 40 plus 12, we are going to count on from 40 12 times. We'll start with the tens and then go into one. So 40, 50, 51, 52. So our addition number sentence will be 40 plus 12 equals 52. The sum is 52. That's how many cows the farmer has in all.